Hello, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and I'm back with the Karcher FC5 Dual Action Hardwood Floor Cleaner. It's part of the uh, Insiders campaign. So, having used this for a couple of weeks now, uh, I'm going to try and tell you what I think is good and what's bad, and uh, just give you a general overview of the Karcher FC5. Now, to be fair, the FC5 isn't a particularly great shape for doing landscape video, so I'll just uh, pan the camera up and down a wee bit so you get an idea of what it's like. So you've also got the handle at the top there, you can probably just see the power button. You've got the power cable, um, and hopefully here you can kind of just see the water reservoir at the front, which is just below the, the little corrugated, kind of corrugated black thing. And then round the back is the, um, if you like, the dirty water receptacle. I'll show you that in a minute. And then at the very bottom, we've got the the stand. The stand's actually quite handy. It's not something that you normally think of as being important with this product, but in this instance, it's really, really important. So let's have a slightly closer look. And uh, Okay, so here we've got the, um, the Karcher. As I said, here you've got the clean water here, you've got the dirty water, and these just really pop out with a, a firm pull, and uh, you put the water in just in the hole here, so it's pretty handy. There is the, as I said, there's also the, the, the dirty water receptacle around here, and it's kind of, you kind of pull it down to release, you can see there's a little catch there, pull that, and then you can go and empty it out. This lot all comes out, and you'll get the dirty water in there. We'll perhaps have some dirty water in a bit later on. Everything goes in quite nicely. There's a, you know, it requires a bit of a, a bit of a tug, um, but it kind of reassures you that it's not going to fall out whilst you're actually mopping the hoovering or whatever the, whatever the term is, cleaning the floors. Um, as I said, the stand's quite handy. The stand, let me just pop this back in here. The stand's quite handy. It's kind of got two modes, and uh, you can see here that if I lift up the thing, the whole lot comes with it, which is great if you are wanted to keep it in the cupboard. Now, if you want to detach it from its base, you kind of just put your foot on it, and it pulls it out. And then you can go away and do your mopping. Now, the um, when you kind of it's in use, you don't have to. You don't really need to slot it in the full way to um, to get it to stay upright. When kind of when you like when you're cleaning, so you can just uh, kind of rest it in the in the stand, which makes it handy. If you want to put it slot it in properly, you kind of just push it a little bit further back, and now it's in place. Okay, let me just move up a wee bit here. So up the top here, we've got the cable, and um, there's a little table clip to keep the cable nice and tidy. And if you do want to uh, release the cable quickly, this bit here turns around and it all, all the cable comes off in one go. Um, you've got the power button here. It's kind of, it clicks on and off. It doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to engage when you're not connected up. But you just press it once to turn it on, press it again to turn it off. Okay, well, what we'll do now is we'll get some water into the uh, into the cleaner and we'll get going with a bit of uh, a bit of cleaning and see what you think okay so um, I've got the uh, the water caddy and we can just uh, flip this open and put some water in here okay. now the one thing I would say about this is that there is there is a max watermark here. It's really hard, I appreciate it's really hard to see on the camera, but it's really also hard to see when you're filling up the water like this. In some ways it would be better if they'd had a, a line across there, maybe slightly at an angle, to show um, where the, the max level for the water is. I and mean, obviously it doesn't make a huge amount of difference because the, the trick probably is to put in less than you really need to. Now once you've, uh, once you've actually put some on, maybe you know, this is a the you get a little bottle of cleaner in the uh, uh, in the pack with you. It's just this one's just general purpose, so you just says put one or two caps in. I'm just gonna put two caps in. Um, there is this just so this is kind of just like general purpose cleaner. You can get specific cleaners for um, you know wooden floors, for um, stone floors, for tile floors, and things like that. They're available from the Karcher website. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Okay, and that's us ready to go and clip it into the, the FC5. Okay, and I'm back with my water cartridge now filled up. So we just, we just pop that 
in there and it just clips in. Now the instructions also say to put a little bit of water just in here and I think this is really just to get the, the rollers um, a little bit damp, it says to put a bit in and then uh, um, I guess it can start cleaning straight away. Uh, this this is from an iron, um, there's not one provided with the, the, the Karcher FC5. I think it would have been nice if they could have done, because actually trying to pour water, if you want to, sorry, just pull that out. If you're trying to pour water out of there into here, is uh, it's it's messy at best. So um, it's a slight shame they didn't have one of those, but I guess a lot of people have irons and things, so it's not really a big deal. It says to leave it kind of for 30 seconds, and that gives us time to plug this in and see how it goes. Okay, so. Okay, so that's the FC5 all plugged in. We're gonna give it a wee go on the floor here and see how we get on. So uh, apologies for my socks and things, but let's give it a go. Oops. So. Okay, well that should give you an idea of what it's like. Now I probably have to admit, I probably did have a bit too much water in the in the tray at the beginning, but uh, um, that was entirely my fault. I had had to take a number of takes here, so uh, that's my fault. Now what you can see here is that uh, the mechanism twists. Do you see how the, if I twist the thing to the left and to the right, it moves the head, so you can kind of get into those corners quite nicely. Um, the first time you use it, it is a bit of a surprise. The wheels, I think you can see there. Oops. See the, how they rotate, how they um, um, how they spin. I mean, they kind of pull the uh, the carcher along, um, so it can be a little bit disconcerting if you've not used a, a device like this before. You know, if you've just used a steam mop, um, you just have to push it back and forth yourself. This kind of drags you along. I mean, you get used to it. Easy. It's not a big deal. Um, the, the the device itself is, I mean, it's not, it's it's heavy enough. I mean, it's not so heavy that's going to be a problem. But just bear in mind, this isn't it, it isn't lightweight, and I guess it's because there's a motor and there's the vacuum and all that kind of stuff built into it. So so don't expect it to be as light as a steam mop or anything like that. As I said, the, now I'll do a bit more mopping, and so to, just to give you an idea. But I mean, the dirty water will collect in there. There's not there's a I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see there's a a little bit in there at the moment. I can hold it right but we'll have a look at that after I've done more of the house um, and this is obviously a wooden floor I do have a tile floor just off to the side oh, if I can turn the turn the thing around so it's tile floor over there and then there's a laminate floor in a couple of other rooms so I'll clean around here and then I'll come back and we'll have a look and see how how dirty the water is okay back in a sec Okay, and we're back from having a quick clean around the house with the Karcher FC5. Um, I've done a hallway, a bathroom, and a kitchen. So what we've got now is the dirty water reservoir. So let's have a look at the grossness test, as they say, and see how much dirt has been picked up. So it just pulls apart. Um, kind of solid stuff tends to get caught in this here. So you can see, I think that it would be popcorn, knowing my children. Yeah, and then we've got some dirty water there. So you can kind of see the, uh, the level of dirt that it picks up. Um, I can see we've got a bit of blue tack in there and there's probably a bit of, uh, uh, of moon sand and stuff like that. So just gonna this out and we'll rinse out. But you can see it's pretty, pretty dirty. Um, okay. okay, and let's get back to the, the carcher itself. 
Right, well, we're back after a bit of cleaning with the Karcher FC5. Um, you obviously saw the, the dirty water in the sink. That's really just from a couple of days' dirt in the house. There's, there's no setup or anything special there. And I think what it illustrates is the benefit of the this dual action in that the vacuum effect and the floor cleaning effect means that you don't have to vacuum the floor with your vacuum cleaner first and then get your steam mop or whatever it is you're going to use to clean your hard floor out. You can do it all in one go with the FC5. So I think that's a, I do think that's a real benefit. Um, and you can just get it out like a vacuum cleaner, whiz round, get everything nice and clean without having to make a whole, a whole meal of cleaning the, the floors. Uh, in other points, the, the cable here, it's uh, seven meters long, which, which I think is a good length. When I'm cleaning the house here, I just need to change sockets the once. Uh, to do both the kitchen, the hallway, which we're in at the moment, the bathroom, and the children's room, which has a, a laminate floor. Other points to note, if I just get down here. So, you've got the, hopefully you can see that. Okay, let me just take the picture. Yep. You've got these rollers here. If you want to take them off to clean, they just, uh, they just kind of unspiral off. You can see some dirt there. As well, um, they just kind of unspiral off, and they have this clever. You see how it's green here, and it's green here. That's how you know which way the rollers go on. There's a little kind of spiral, so when you put them on, they just kind of twist on. But if, as long as you make sure you get the the green with the green, and the blue with the blue, um, they'll kind of self lock into place, and they won't come spinning off. If you get them the wrong way around, they'll come spinning off. But you won't make that mistake. Okay, so the manufacturer recommends that you don't leave water in the unit whilst it's not in use. I can kind of understand that, particularly the dirty water. Uh, you don't want mould growing up on the rollers. And I tended to make sure that the rollers were just dried on top of a radiator before putting them away. So if you like the Karcher, it is, um, I think it's £230 from places like Argos, things like that. So um, it's not inexpensive, that's for sure. But it seems to be well made. I mean, it's, this bit here is, I think it's metal and uh, it's pretty robust and it's in the usual Karcher yellow. Um, so I mean overall I've been pretty impressed with it. Uh, I think it probably will become part of the, the I feel like the family, uh, replacing some of our, well certainly replacing our existing steam mop and uh, um, will hopefully mean that the floors get cleaned a bit more often rather than just running around with the vacuum cleaner. So I guess this is Andrew for Geek News Central and the Insiders uh, Karcher campaign. Signing off. Thanks very much.